options. Today, let's talk about something that's used pretty frequently within the software. That is time schedules and holidays. Time schedules are either active or inactive, and holidays is something that you can help to control that. So if you come down to the bottom of your time schedule browser, you'll have a section labeled for holidays. I can right click where I see fit and add a holiday to the set so that I can go to the section to add in a holiday by the date, the name, however I want to do it. Let's pretend like today is a holiday. And down below, I can select how would I like to categorize this holiday. Maybe your type one holidays can be your Christmas or your Thanksgiving and they can all function the same. You have up to eight different types or eight different categorization methods. And I'll show you where that's going to be applied here in just a moment. So I'll select OK. And since today is an active holiday, it's going to appear red for me. In my time schedule browser, whenever I select an actual time schedule, I'll have two options here. On the left hand side, it's only going by the days of the week and it will follow this time. However, whenever a holiday is present, it's going to go by how you categorized it. So remember earlier, I said that the training holiday was a type one holiday. So the only column it's looking for is right here where I categorized it as a type one. The thing about time schedules is that a green check mark means that yes, I want the schedule to be active. If you see an X, that means the schedule will not be active. So if today's a holiday and I leave it exactly how it is, this schedule will not become active. If I check the box and today is a holiday, then the schedule will be active. So if I uncheck it and I hit OK, let's give it just a moment and see what we have selected here. In my East Main building, if you look below, you'll notice that my time schedule is no longer active. It is a black holiday. When I come to my time schedule again, and I check the box to say, yes, I do want it to be active. Give it just one moment. And what you'll notice is that it turns green and it is ready to be used. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next training session.